hardly a week goes by that I don't receive some notification via email that another one of my paintings done, uh, it could have been done 10 years ago, it could have been done 40 years ago, has come up for sale on the secondary market. Uh, and of course, uh, when those are sold, very often it's an estate sale. Or usually they just are interested in converting whatever uh, is there into cash as quickly as possible without much regard to its actual value. This puts pressure on my current work uh, <clears throat> because it drives down the prices. Uh, pieces at auction, of course I, I have no say over what they're priced at and I receive nothing for any of those uh, secondary market sales. Matt Kane, who had been thinking very deeply about the issue of royalties for a long while, he started a Discord server and invited some of his artist friends to talk about uh, royalties for NFT secondary sales. And then uh, more and more artists were invited in to participate and I don't know what the final figure was, uh, but many people at least uh, saw what was going on. And uh, certainly the ones that you mentioned before, Bl uh, Black Box Art and uh, Matt Cain and the others, were, were they, they did the, the, the yeoman's labor in seeing that it was, uh, seeing that it was done. But <clears throat> I will tell you that I have heard stories from, uh, from NFT creators, uh, artists, young artists, uh, who have said, I have been able to pay my rent and buy food for the past two months based on royalties I have received on secondary sales.